Hello guys, this is ATL Ego 579 here, and today I do, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, kind of wanted to test Windows 10 last week, but I sort of got more than what I bargained for, so I'm kind of stuck with it now. But I thought about it and I decided to take an annoying situation and make it into something positive i know a lot of people are asking questions about windows 10 how good it will be so what i will do is because i no longer at least i think i have i don't have 8.1 um as microsoft rolls out windows 10 i'll start covering builds and showing the differences and saying what i like i don't like and etc. So that's about it. So let's get this started. Um, they gave me this nice background. You know, some nice mountainous background. There's snow. I'm not sure where in the world this is, but it's a nice vista and a nice landscape. But here's um my desktop and. Sure, a lot of you are surprised. I just don't like to have my screen filled up with all my stuff. I like to have everything in some kind of a folder. That's just me. I'm just very particular about all that. Um, I got Google, Skype, Origin, Crap, etc. So you see down here, I'm on build 10,041. Um, they have build. 10,049, but I'm not sure about upgrading to that. Some people had issues upgrading to that bill. So I think it's best to stay away from that right now until Microsoft more than likely releases this month's bill because 49 was um, still last month's bill. That was sort of like a small update to this bill. And that introduced Spartan. So there's that. Um, since we have a new notification center right here, and what this will show, um, I guess if you have any reminders or anything of that nature, uh, you'll see stuff over here. Maybe if you have, uh, contacts over here, you know, I haven't played around with this too much, but it seems like any kind of notification that Windows shows will also be in here as maybe like a reminder, or if you didn't see something, you can go here and double check. Did I see that? Did I get a notification for that? So that's gonna be here. Um, you have the display settings, uh, media connect, I'm guessing connecting your phone, or uh, I know in newer computers, you can sync it up to your smart TV wirelessly without an adapter, so there's that. All settings more than likely would just take me to the settings app, so there's that. Uh, you see we have a new battery icon, a new recycling bin, um, a new audio icon right here. And let's see, what else did they change? Now you have a new Explorer um, EXE right here. So your file Explorer, see, they changed all, all the animations from before. Um, they have quick access now, so anything like you use frequently will show up here. You got your OneDrive right here if you use OneDrive. So it seems like they're really trying to make it easy to get to your most frequent files and um, stuff of that nature. I don't have too much on here, again, because I just like a nice, clean computer. But you never know. Some of this I will get into. Is on my documents. Now, one feature they added that I really do like is Task View. And this allows you to have multiple desktops. So you have, I have a Documents, OBS, Defragler, and Steam open right now. But what I could do if I really wanted to, let's take Documents and put it in Desktop 2. So now, 
this is open in desktop too. So what you can do if your first desktop has a lot of stuff on it, maybe it feels cluttered or whatever, you can move some things to a new desktop. I forget how many you can have at once, but the fact that you have that option is real nice. Linux has had that for a while, but Windows is kind of catching up to that standard. So Microsoft probably is listening to some feedback and trying to think outside the box on how to improve Windows. So I guess they took some cues from Linux. Close that. I don't really need this right now, so I'm just going to close desktop too. Now, another feature you have is Cortana. Uh, for me personally, she sometimes works, but at other times she just doesn't really get what I'm saying. Like I could say, hey, Cortana, either she won't listen or she'll listen, but she thinks I'm just saying, hey, Cortana, when I'm just trying to say, hey, Cortana, to get her started and ask the question. So she's mixing up the two. So that is something I will uh, send to Microsoft saying, hey, when I say, hey, Cortana, like right there, she just kind of goes all crazy. So I don't know why she opened up Internet Explorer. So she is a work in progress. Another new feature is the new store. They actually updated the store. Um, let that load for a second. So the vibe I'm getting from the new store, um, it seems like they took some cues from Apple because this reminds me a little bit of the iOS store for Apple products. What's this? So this seems like a Twitch app for Windows. I should never seen this. I might actually get that. Hmm. Interesting. I might get this app later on. I just don't feel like dealing with it right now, but you have your reviews right here. Related apps. Most apps are free, any big ones anyway. Uh, system requirements down here. Age verification, stuff like that. Um, settings. Hasn't really changed too much. You have search. So this is still kind of a work in progress, I can tell, but I see the direction they're going. And I actually do like the look of the new store. <laughs> so there is that. Now, a lot of people in Windows 8 did not necessarily like it because they felt like having the start screen and the desktop. Some people went as far as to say it felt like trying to manage two computers in one, or it felt cluttered or it felt confusing between desktop and start or start to desktop. Now, Windows 8.1, they fixed that a little bit. You can boot straight to the desktop now. So, But some people still didn't like going to the start screen at all, period. But sometimes they had to. So, this is the compromise Microsoft came up with. And this is your new start menu. They basically took the start screen and made it into a menu to resemble Windows 7 a little bit. So you have your apps over here, any frequently used things, uh, like music, food and drink, Netflix. I got a few things pinned down here. You have File Explorer, Documents, and your most used applications, or you can go to All Applications and scroll through the folders right here. So I actually do like this. It does take some getting used to because I am used to switching between start, 
and desktop, like a Windows 8. So this is taking some time still to get used to this because I was actually one of the people I didn't have a problem with it since day one. It was always kind of like, oh, okay, this is interesting. But I know some people are just not, they just don't like it. So here's you, uh, which is my real name's Jonathan Tucker, but I put John Tucker. Um, and what you can do is you can expand start. So if you needed a full screen view of all your stuff, you do have that option. And it's see through. So you see you have your you can see your background, um, whatever you have set as your desktop. So that's actually pretty cool. So let's get out of that. Oh, well, here's some apps. In this build, you have Windows feedback. That's been here for a while, but Microsoft made it easy for everybody to kind of get out their questions or um, if they had any concerns, they can add feedback. Um, so I'm actually going to start using this app more as time goes on. But this is really nice to have. So if you need help with something or you have a suggestion, this is where you would go and put all that in. Um, Insider's Hub. I don't think I use this app actually. Okay, so this is just like a news feed, um, staying up to date on Windows and, you know, stuff like that. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, as far as support for your applications, now, I really had to play around with this build because it was acting really wonky for me when I first got it, but it kind of like fixed itself. And I got most of my stuff to work. I have Skype working, C Cleaner, Craps, stuff like that. Um, let's see, when I went to playback devices, now my drivers for, um, my laptop speakers, the real tech ones, they were not working, but I eventually got them to work, which was basically uninstalling and trying to reinstall the driver. And I got lucky and it went through. So there's that. Uh, what else? Now here's Steam. Now you may notice my Steam's a little different. That's just because I like to Use custom skins the community may put out. You can, you know, get custom skins and make it look all fancy and stuff. So this is the Air skin, and they recently had an update, and it looks oh, real nice. A lot better than the old version, so I will give kudos to the developer. Now, most of my Steam games do work. Uh, the only thing is I have problems with were if I can find it. Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. Um, never played that game before. I thought it would be interesting. I got it from the Square Enix Humble Bundle. I tried to launch it, but nothing happened. I would not even get to a screen or anything. I, I didn't get any errors, nothing like that. So I'm thinking it does not like this build. Um, so I did send Microsoft a report about that. So hopefully they look into that. The only other game I had troubles with were Max Payne 3, and that's kind of sad because I really like Max Payne 3. Now, someone did say that game does work under build 10,049. So it seems like it just doesn't like this build in particular, but it can work under Windows 10. So I'm hoping that's all it is. So once I get to the newer builds later on, I can just re-download that game and have at it. But all my other games were Mortal Kombat, uh, Metro, Metal Gear Solid, Deus Ex. All these games work, as far as I know. But, um, yeah, that's definitely something I will let Microsoft know about, is compatibility. Because they did emphasize, whatever you run under Windows 8.1, 
should work for Windows 10. So I'm going to hold them to that because it would be a shame if going to Windows 10 meant I had some compatibility issues. So, uh, yeah, get on it, Microsoft. Um, I'm not sure what else they changed. We have start right here. Let me minimize that. They have Project Spartan in the newer build, but it's really unoptimized right now, so um, not really going to get into that. But th those are the main points, I guess. Um, at least you get the gist and the feel of Windows 10, you know. They are really trying to go somewhere. And if they do it right, and they do what they say they're going to do, then it can actually be a good operating system. But yeah, the story is, um, pretty much I am stuck with Windows 10. So, uh, the way I'm just going to do this is, I'm going to wait for builds. I'm not going to do, um, well, that's another thing, the settings app. Because Microsoft is really pushing this, and this is where you will go from now on to do your uh, system settings. Now, they do have the classic control panel, but they're really trying to do away with that. A lot of that stuff will redirect you here. Now, where was I going to go? Uh, let's see, update every folder. I just forgot where I was going to go. Hmm. I, I knew what I was going to say, but then I forgot. But anyway. Yeah, when, so I guess when I had 8.1 and I tried to up uh, update to this build, apparently it might have wiped Windows 8.1. So I got to keep using this. Now the way I'm going to do it, oh, that's what it was. I'm not going to do the fast build because you see if you go to update and recovery, go to advanced options, it will let you choose how builds are installed. Now I have it on slow, just so if there's anything wrong with the newer build, hopefully Microsoft addresses that. So by the time I get to it, I won't have as many things to deal with. So that's how I'm going to go about it. But other than that, that is pretty much it for Windows 10, I believe, um, at least in this build. It is coming together, like I said, it's still a beta, but um, I think it's going to go somewhere. Now, would I recommend installing it? Don't make the mistake I did. Try to partition off a part of your hard drive for this or uh use a usb and back up your stuff like your uh, image recovery or whatever you have to do just make sure you have your stuff backed up before you do this so you won't be in my situation where now you're stuck with it so if you don't like windows 10 uh you can go back to whatever version of windows you had before otherwise you might be stuck with it now the nice thing is insiders um can get the final build so what they'll do they'll just transition you over to that build kind of what they did in 8.1 because i did take part in that beta at the tail end where i was on 8.1 they did make like maybe a small update or whatever and that was the final build of windows 8.1 so more than likely they're going to do the same thing with this where we're going to get a small update and you're not going to see Windows 10 technical preview. It's just going to be plain old Windows 10. So I'll definitely be looking forward to that real soon. But that is it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That always brings a smile to my face. And have a good one.